Welcome to a new video of the parts channel, well, I'm going to record a short video. They brought us an X5, BMW X5, which had the airbag light on in the dashboard and we put it in the diagnostic machine and the failure of the left side impact sensor of the airbag has come out, in this case it is. This sensor, ok, let's see, how we can check this sensor, look, it is very simple, because it only has two pins in the connector. These sensors, in these cars, they usually break because they are under the seat, there is one in the driver's seat, there is also another under the passenger seat and sometimes, because of the humidity that reaches them, because sometimes the door rubbers they crack, water enters them. And what it does is that in the end, I know they end up breaking down, look. I'm going to use the multimeter, we put it in ohms to check the resistance values. Let's see, this other one, we have bought it second hand. As the owner of the car said, the ideal is see buy it new, then, before installing them. They are checked, to see that it is not a problem with the connector or the wiring, ok, I already said, they only have two pins and they only have one position to check it, ok, well, let's do the checking the sensor. We are going to see the values given by the reading of its resistance in ohms, this does not give anything, we are going to change the position of the cables, see if in this way its resistance gives us some value, it seems that neither. Ok, you see, it still doesn't give any reading, this one is damaged, as you can see, now we are going to check the other one, the one we bought second hand. In principle, it doesn't give us any reading, it doesn't mark us anything, any value, but this happens because we have to change the polarity. We are going to do the test now, changing the polarity of the cables. Sometimes it is a bit difficult to put them, it will give us a value around 527, 526 ohms its resistance. This other one is correct sensor that we have bought, as I say, it works perfectly so, it doesn't have any problem, I'm telling you from experience, since we've changed quite a few airbag impact sensors. As I say, you can do that test, it's very simple, do this test with a multimeter. It's easy. Simply by touching the two pins of the connector, in a single position, therefore, if you see that in one position it does not give you any value, change the position of the cables, ok. Well, I hope that this short video has been of interest or use to you and well if so do not forget to give a like and subscribe to the channel.